Hello, welcome to the Everton News Daily. It's been reported again today that Everton have been offered a loan of £150 million from GDA Luma Capital. It's said that the funds are to help finance the completion of Everton's new stadium and some of it is thought to be uh, used in paying an MSP loan back. That hasn't been com- confirmed yet. It's just uh, one of the stories that are bobbing around today. Um, This loan is subject to due diligence, uh, and right now it is thought to be just a straightforward loan with no trigger for any equity in the football club. Um, It is part of maybe some debt restructuring at the football club. Again, that story was out there last week as well. So it'll be interesting to see whether or not Everton do take that offer up. It is thought to be around £40 million left uh, to complete the new stadium. Um, therefore, basic sums, it leaves £110 million to uh, to use elsewhere if Everton do take it up. So we'll be watching this space very interestingly to see whether or not that is confirmed over the next few days. Uh, Everton have today released an interview with striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Uh, on EvertonFC.com. Go and check it out if you want to. Um, Dom has said that uh, I reflect on this season in a much better way than perhaps I would have done six to eight weeks ago when I was on the back end of a very difficult spell. He did go on to score uh, four goals in five games, finished the season strongly, playing really well, including, of course, a goal in the Merseyside derby in which he was outstanding. There is a lot of rumours about Dominic Calvert-Loon, whether or not he'll remain at the football club. Uh, He's got a year left on his current deal. Everton have offered him a new contract apparently but we've had no clarification on whether or not he intends to uh, to sign that one. He does also say in the interview that he's happy that he finally has a song from the Evertonians. Um, he said it was a bugbear of mine that despite all the goals I'd scored, I haven't really got a song yet. He goes on to reveal that Seamus Coleman sings the Bella Ciao song every time he sees him uh, around the training ground. Bayern Munich are reportedly very interested in Everton's Belgian midfield player Amadou Onana. Uh, a rumoured fee in build today is said to be around £56 million, what they're thought to uh, going to offer Everton for the 22-year-old who is part of Belgium's European Championship squad. Onana, who's had a little bit of a mixed season, some games he's been excellent, others not so good. He was in and out of Sean Dyche's side towards the end of the season. Um, he was attracting interest from Bayern last summer as well, so we'll have to wait and see as to whether they make their their, their interest firmer up with a bid. Obviously, Everton are likely to have to sell this summer. Uh, Kevin Thelwell kind of made that clear on Saturday in his programme notes before the Sheffield United game. Onana is thought to be one Everton are willing to sacrifice and obviously that money will be used for the PSR as well as maybe some uh, some cash payments on replacements. He might not be the only Everton player who was sold this summer, but obviously if uh, Bayern come in with anything around that fee, I'm sure Everton would listen to that deal with interest. Uh, one player Everton have been linked with again today is Southampton forward Shea Adams, who is uh, apparently going to leave St Mary's for nothing in in the summer. Southampton are still involved in the playoffs. They drew nil-nil with West Brom in the first leg, and Adams could play his part in getting the Saints back into the Premier League, but it is reported that he will leave St Mary's this summer with uh, Leeds United and Wolves very interested in the striker Everton, also thought to be monitoring his situation. And finally, good luck to former Everton assistant manager Duncan Ferguson tonight. His Inverness Caledonian Thistle team take on Hamilton Academicals in a Scottish Championship playoff uh, final first leg. It's a Hamilton Academical, so good luck to Big Dunk tonight. Uh, that is it for the News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't to the channel. See you later.